we still joke. And I mean, okay, so this is gonna probably sound bad to somebody that doesn't have kids and doesn't have Alzheimer's, but we're sitting at my daughter's first band concert outside of the football game. Brian goes, are we gonna have to do this all the time? I said, yeah, but you're lucky. You'll forget about it and I'll still remember. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Brian. I was diagnosed at 59 with Alzheimer's, and I'm still living life. I've been married 20 years, and we have two children. We were married six months, and I had breast cancer. So, yeah, we've been through stuff before. When we found out that Brian had Alzheimer's, that was a little bit different. You know, there was one day I was working at somebody's house, and I picked up this wire, and I looked at it, and I had no idea what to do with it. And that. That shook me. And then a couple other things came up. Didn't know where to put a stamp on an envelope or how to fill out an envelope to mail it and not sure what to do about filling out a check. And so that's when it kind of clicked with me and I was like, okay, we are doing the right thing. Going through all of these tests is that next step that we need to do. You know, it was very hard because, um, you know, I want to think that I'm perfect. I don't want to think that I'm not quite like the rest of the people or something like that, you know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's a hard thing to accept. You can't just kind of shove it under the rug um, because that makes, I mean, it's a stressful situation anyway. You don't necessarily know what to do. Center for Brain Health has given me um, some optimism and a, uh, an outlook that I think I can live with. I don't know, I, I guess the best thing about it was just meeting a, a group of other guys that had the same issue and realized that we're not alone. But at the same time, there's no getting around it. So, gotta accept. It's not a, a, a weight on my shoulders. I don't feel a weight on my shoulders or anything like that. My wit may not be as quite as good as it used to be, but um, I still get along just fine. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> There is some humor in some of that, some of that, because there has to be. Otherwise, I mean, when you have two kids and you don't have any humor with it, the whole family's going to go to hell yeah. in a handbasket. It's going to fall yeah. apart. This is the way life is. I mean, nobody's getting out of here without dying. So, mom just will live. Yeah. What What are your beautiful moments with me? That's what she's asking. Those are not to be talked about. Okay. <laughs>